everyone, welcome back to a new video. I am here with the newest little baby boy. And I've decided to name him the Cisco Kid. <laughs> hey, Cisco? Is that your name? Okay. Alright, Mama, you can have your baby back. But yeah, I decided to name him Cisco because I thought it suited him. And the Cisco Kid was actually a show that my Beppe, which is uh, Fries for Grandma, usually in the Dutch language you say Oma, but in Fries you say Beppe. She had a DVD set from the Cisco Kid, which is a relatively old TV show, and it was just about two. I don't want to say anti-heroes, but they were a little bit, you know, shit disturbers and it was just these two kind of cowboys on horses and they would go out and they would save people and, you know, they would be branded as villains and on wanted posters and stuff and my brother, my sister and I, we always really, really enjoyed that show so I thought suddenly this afternoon I was working on a couple goat things and I was like, hey! His name should be Cisco. So here we go. Wild West, the Cisco Kid. It's milking time. <laughs> so it's the morning milking, and before I go and scrape group one, I just wanted to show you guys a cow that is probably one of my favorites in the barn. So this is 1191 Beyonce and she's one of the best cuddlers in the world. I can't stop to give her a hug now but I'll usually stand at her shoulder and she'll curl her head around and then kind of just give me a hug but she's an absolute sweetheart. That's the reason why <laughs> I didn't pick that name Beyonce for that little calf is because we already have one. Right, B?
Come on, Felix. Come on. Come here, you silly thing. Come on. Come on, Kefis. Oh. That's Felix right there. Oh, she gotta stop the itch. You gonna come get pets? Come here. Come here, Stinker. Oh, there she is. Look at that. Hi, cutie. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> so, I don't know how many days later it actually is from the original footage, but somebody has asked on a couple of my videos, a couple of you are wondering how Cricket's doing. And that's her, 2046. And she's still itty bitty, like super small. You can see that this calf is a little bit older because of the lower number. So the higher the number, the younger the calf. It's kind of a little bit backwards, but. So Cricket is kind of Cricket sized, but she's doing well. She's just really little. How that's gonna go when she matures into a full grown milk cow? I don't know, but we'll see how that goes. She's doing pretty good so far. Hey, Cisco. Are you being adventurous? <laughs> Hi. So, a little update on this guy. Get back in there. He ended up developing an, um, I don't know, I wouldn't call it an abscess because it's not that pronounced. He is too wiggly <laughs> and playful for me to really get a good look at it now, but here's a picture of what it looked like on Wednesday. Today's Friday. But uh, he developed a bump. You're gonna make people feel dizzy, dude. Come here. I don't know if you see that. He... Come here. There's a little bit of a bumpy in his neck. So... I was in contact with the vet, and their first thought was CL, but it's not like a, a pus bump, and he's like just turned a week old, so he's much too young for a CL abscess to develop anyways. So I did some research online, and it turns out it was either like one of four things, really. It's either a milk goiter, which ends up appearing when a mother has a very rich and abundant supply of milk. It could have been a goiter from an iodine deficiency, so I did treat him for that carefully because you can very easily overdose them on iodine and that can make them really sick. So I did treat him for that. And I also treated it like a blunt force trauma, you know, bump because I'm not sure if she possibly could have hit him with her horn. He's usually hanging out, trying to jump on her head and stuff. So that's one other reason. And then I thought potentially it could have been a bug bite too, to just swell up his neck like that. And then I was really nervous about it being an allergic reaction. So that happened. It's gone down significantly in size, but it's still kind of hanging out. So I'm wondering if it's just a combination of one of those four things or... Yeah, so I'm just keeping an eye on him. But he has not exhibited any signs of stress. Like you can move it around and he's not really bothered by it. It doesn't cause him any pain. So I'm thinking I can rule out that she nicked him with a horn. But yeah, he's really playful and he's very happy regardless. So yes, you are, you silly guy. <laughs> Do 
Are we playful? So yeah, you can see that he's exhibiting normal kid behaviors. He's just got a little bit of a a little bit of a bump here. So and a milk goiter is completely benign, like it's not going to affect him any, and it's usually going to disappear after a little while. Mama wants some attention too. Yeah. Okay, so we're building a new goat pasture here. <laughs> For mom's goats in the future. And there are a bunch of moles here, so... We set this yesterday, it was brand new, and it's gone off, and there's one in there. That's gross. <laughs> oh, geez. Woo, look at the oh yuck. So, mole number one. So I tried my hand at tattooing for the first time today. And they're looking green. So uh, that's Gabietto. He's going to be going on the truck to BC. He's going to go as a nice little breeding buck. And then that's Winnie Winchester right behind him now. And she's going to stay as a replacement doe. And then I've got Pioneer here. She was born last year. And I'm just waiting until she's a bit bigger before I put her in with a buck. And then Trailblazer, who is a weather that I have kept. And he's just kind of stuck around because I haven't been able to sell him yet. We have the two mamas. That's Cupid and Maple over there in the back. And I'm weaning them. So they're kind of just drying up their udders and stuff and I put them in with the buck right away because I'd like to have them kidding out at the same time as the rest of these ladies hopefully around the same time and the gestation of a goat is actually around five months so if you really wanted to you could have them kid out twice a year which is kind of what I'm doing with these two just for this one time because I want to grow my herd as fast as possible so that's why I'm gonna be having them bred a little early actually quite early but I'm feeding them a really really high energy high protein diet so they should be able to handle it and I'm liking how they're looking so far their udders are drying up fairly nicely and I am really excited to see what Batman produces with them because they made some really nice babies with Samurai and they should make some nice babies with Batman too but yeah I think that's gonna be it for today's video guys I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please like and subscribe and share it with a friend and I will see you guys in the next video bye